Hey there YouTube, my name's Kevin and I'm going to provide you a small tutorial for an Arduino. Uh, it's a beginner's guide so this is, if you're an advanced user you probably won't want to watch this and don't. Um, I'm a beginner and looking on arduino.cc for the different projects they have. They have a couple small tutorials. Uh, one I just did today was um, using a potentiometer to adjust the potentiometer knob to show you um, an input on the serial monitor and it will show you the range of values that it can read as an input from a potentiometer and that range is somewhere between zero turned all the way one direction the knob all the way up to 1023 so there's every every number every integer between zero and 1023 can be interpreted as a, um, a position of the um, potentiometer knob. That was pretty cool. Uh, and then the next tutorial I did today, a totally separate project, was another simple um, project was uh, fading an LED. And um, you basically upload the code to your Arduino and it just slowly turns an LED on until it's full brightness and then dims it down. Um, what, I, what I wanted to do was say, okay, well, can you use a potentiometer um, to control the brightness of an LED? Where turning the potentiometer all the way in one direction until it stops would be an LED being off and then as you rotate it um, all the way to the other side it goes from off to dim to brighter to very bright when it's uh, turned all the way to the right and I actually did it it's a super easy simple code and I'm going to show you the circuit operating and then um, I'm going to show you the schematic with an Arduino board showing you exactly how to hook it up um, and the parts and pieces that you'll need to make this work. So uh, it's a very simple, easy tutorial. It has many different applications. You can control DC motors, um, the speed control of them. Just, just you know, quick tutorial to show you something new on an Arduino. But it's nice and complete so that you can actually do it. Um, so let me just get my camera set up here. Flimsy little tripod. All right, so this is my Arduino board. Once again, you don't need to know exactly where the wires are going here. You just need to see what's going. You just need to see the operation of the circuit. Um, right where this pointer is coming down on the top of the screen is my uh, 10K ohm potentiometer. I, I'm sure other potentiometers would uh, work, but I'm use a, using a 10K ohm. So if you want your circuit to work exactly like mine does, you might want to use a 10K ohm potentiometer. Um, and as I rotate this potentiometer, this LED will go from being off to full brightness, totally corresponding to the position to the position of the potentiometer. So I'm going to begin rotating it, and you can see the LED gain brightness. All right, it's rotated all the way up, and uh, it's at full brightness. I'm going to now start very slowly going backwards, and you really don't see the LED jumping between um, brightness levels. It's very smooth. All the way down to being very dim and then fading out, turning off. Um, so you'll need to know a little bit about the potentiometer and this is probably the best opportunity to show you. The potentiometer has three prongs coming out of it. It's a little blurry but trust me there's three. Um, there's a center pin and then there's two side pins. The Arduino has to be plugged into every single one of these pins. Um, the center pin is your uh, signal pin. That goes to an analog input on your Arduino. Uh, my Arduino is an Arduino Uno, and I have an analog input A0. I think most boards have an analog input A0. So you'll want to connect to that so that my code works um, to do this uh, tutorial for you, so you don't have to change it. Um, so the center pin goes to A0, and then 5 volts from the Arduino needs to plug to either end, either side pin of the potentiometer. And the one that you don't connect 5 volts to connect the ground of the Arduino. So essentially what you're doing is you have 5 volts on one pin, um, 
and then ground on the other one, the center pin is going to be your current voltage from the potentiometer. So it's a variable resistor that's like a voltage divider network. So when you start all the way at one direction, the center pin has zero volts on it. And as you rotate it, it's going to show a voltage that will slowly increase starting from zero all the way up to five volts. Pretty neat. Well, your Arduino can read these different voltages and it has a resolution that it can read. Um, the Arduino can read um, a potentiometer range from zero all the way up to 1023. Just think of it um, as positions. So all the way counterclockwise or off would be um, number zero to the Arduino. As you rotate it up a little bit, the output or the input would be like a one. Rotate it up a little bit more, it's a two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as you spin it. And um, all the way up to 1023. So it actually shows over a very small range in rotation, it has a lot of different steps of resolution. Um, an LED, my red LED here is hooked up to an out to the output of uh, an output pin. I have it hooked up to output pin nine um, through a resistor to my LED back to ground on the Arduino. Um, in the software, I set the pin to turn on to um, depending on uh, what position the potentiometer is in. Um, I can show you the software code and uh, describe it for you, or you can just uh, download my code and read it, and um, you can see the link in my description of where you can get that. And um, as you rotate the potentiometer knob, the Arduino's uh, software, the code, will translate. It's actually a map function. It maps one range of numbers to another range of numbers. So think of an LED being off as zero and being full brightness as number 255. And then all the numbers in between are a varying number of its corresponding brightness. So a one would be very dim. A 50 would be, you know, getting pretty bright. Uh, 100 would be even brighter. 200 would be brighter yet. And 255 would be very bright. So my potentiometer has a different range though from 0 to 1023. The Arduino software has this function called mapping where you can translate one range of numbers to another range of numbers. So I can translate any given number like 20 in the range of 0 to 1023 to whatever it would be between 0 and 255 with the map function. Hey there YouTube, this is um, the code that I actually created. Um, at the very top of uh, the code, there's just a bunch of gray commenting, which is an actual code. It's just so you know what's going on. It explains the circuit. Look in the description, I'll tell you how to get there. Um, this is the actual code from here down to here that you need to type in exactly. You can just look at this and type it in, pause it, and type it into your environment. Um, upload it to your Arduino and it'll work, or you can look in the description for the text file, the location of the text file, so that you can actually just edit, copy, and paste it in. Um, to provide a complete tutorial, I'm just going to describe how this works. So in every Arduino code, you need to have a setup area and a loop area. Inside setup, for our code, we're going to be using the serial monitor. The serial monitor is going to look at the um, changing analog input signal from the center pin of the potentiometer. Um, the potentiometer has 5 volts on one end, ground on the other, and a signal pin in the middle. Um, this, the center pin will, as you rotate the potentiometer, will change between 0 volts up to 5 volts. Um, the microcontroller that we're using, the Arduino, can sense that voltage change and a range of numbers that vary between 0 and 1023. So as you rotate your potentiometer, the serial monitor 
is going to be a place where you can actually go and see in real time what the Arduino is seeing numerically for the um, analog input signal. It's pretty cool. Um, also in the setup you're going to declare with pin mode, you're declaring pin 9 as an output. And that's it for the setup. Then the loop is the area that's just going to keep looping through the code very, very quickly. We're talking microseconds to just complete all this stuff. Um, so what this is doing for our code is the analog read is reading input A0, analog 0, and storing it in a variable called brightness. Um, this is going to eventually be the number that's going to be sent to the LED to show a corresponding brightness. Um, so that's why I call it brightness. So the analog input signal is going to read a value that's going to be between 0 and 1023 stored in brightness. It's of type integer. It's going to be a whole number, um, no decimal points. Uh, then the next line um, is this map feature. This is where the number between 0 and 1023 is translated to the corresponding value between 0 and 255. Um, so you take your number, it's between 0 and 1023, and this is where you're saying it's this value in here that you have falls within this range, and you're going to want to change it to the corresponding value between this number and this number. The LED output brightness can only be controlled between a value of 0, which would be off, and 255, which is full brightness. And everywhere in between is a sliding scale of increasing brightness if you're going up, and sliding scale of decreasing brightness or dimness as you go down. Um, so once it's mapped to a value between 0 and 255, it gets stored back in brightness. Uh, the next line, the serial.print line, is going to send this value that was just mapped, so it's between 0 and 255, to the serial monitor and print it on a, its own line. So I'll show you that in a moment. So the analog write will then take this, um, it's going to write something to pin 9, and it's going to write the value of brightness. So it's um, this will just keep going through if you use your if you're um, not changing the position of your potentiometer this loop is still continually reading that you did not have any change it's just gonna get the same value store it map it print it to the serial monitor and then send it to the LED and that happens in microseconds guys it's very fast so we're gonna go to the serial monitor I have uploaded this code which you can compile it here make sure there's no errors and if you do it like this, there won't be. And then you upload it here. It's already uploaded, so I'm going to go to the serial monitor. And the serial monitor on the left shows a bunch of zeros. Those are actually scrolling going up. As I rotate the potentiometer, you see the, the numbers increase, and my LED is also increasing brightness. That value that you see there is somewhere between 0 and 255, where 0 is off, 255 is full brightness. That's my LED is at full brightness, so I'm not going to rotate it down. And the LED is dimming, and the numbers are decreasing as it should, all the way down to zero where it's off. So that's it, guys. Very quick, easy tutorial. Uh, put my code in there, build the circuit, and have fun building and learning new stuff through Arduinos, and post more things so I can build something that you make.